ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਰਸ਼ਦੀਪ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਹੋਏ ਹਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸਸ ਮਾਰਗਰੇਟ ਪਾਰਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿਨੀ ਸਿਮਸ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਅੱਜ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸੱਤਵਾਂ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਕੌਂਸਲ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਅਨਾਉਂਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਆਓ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੌਣ ਹੈ ਸੱਤਵਾਂ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ Welcome. I do want to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Coast Salish people including the Kwantlen, the Kaitsi, Semiamu and Tawasan. And we thank them for allowing us to play, work and um and be in this beautiful place. And today it is a beautiful place because look in this all, all this heat you got sunshine and you've got a gentle breeze. My name is Jenny Sims and I'm with Surrey Forward. running to be mayor of surrey with council members and thank you number of our council members are here today phil agiri phil give a wave jody tor and others are at work which is a good thing um uh, you know a lot of people have asked us asked me why am i running to be the mayor of surrey and i can tell you it was not on my agenda 6 months ago i am running to be mayor of surrey because it is time to take surrey forward in a direction that is good for everybody our city's reputation has been damaged both locally provincially and internationally and the children who were born here who grow up here are telling me that this is not the kind of city they had in mind so they're looking for open and transparent government they are looking for fair treatment for everybody no matter where you come from whether you're a new immigrant or whether you've lived here all your life they're also looking for a council that will instead fighting each other saying my way or the highway will actually bring people together and address everyday issues of affordability most of us care about our families we care about food at our table we want a roof over our head and if we work hard we want to be able to take a holiday but most of all we want a city that is developing that can become and i believe it has the potential to be the tech sector the new silicon valley it is growing fast we don't need um uh, more warehousing what we need is to attract manufacturing attract the tech sector and to do that we have to make this city affordable for professional people and working people who want to live here we need a city where we work with the provincial and federal government on growing more childcare spaces on growing more affordable homes as well as assisted housing we need a city where the work you need to get done at city hall is not dependent on who you know but that the system is so clear and simple and the work is expedited on first come first served basis where everybody is treated equally and i'm very proud of the team that we have gathered together but today is a very special day uh we have as you already know announced six of our candidates and today i am going to be announcing our seventh candidate and many of you know him already he actually went to strawberry hill elementary school he went to princess margaret secondary school the school that is right over there and often we hear about kids who grow up here who are not responsible who get into trouble this and that i am telling you we have surrey full of talent of kids who were born here have gone through the school system here and who want to play their part in making surrey the best city the most inclusive city with a diverse city and diversity is not to be tolerated diversity is our strength it's our economic engine because that's where the talent is so 
Today, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce to you a young man who grew up in Newton, has a young family, and guess what? He's successful in his chosen profession. And he wants to give back. He wants to give back to Surrey that has given so much to him. So I'm going to let him talk about himself more. So let me introduce to you our candidate for counsel for Surrey Forward, Paramjeet Singh Malli. Today, along, alongside my family, I'm very excited to announce that I'm going to be running for city council for the city of Surrey with Ginny Sims and Surrey Forward. I'm grateful for Ginny and this team for giving me this opportunity. And I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys coming to this platform to allow me to be the best candidate that I possibly can for the Surrey of Surrey. As someone who has grown up in Surrey, I'm now raising two young beautiful children with my wife, living in Surrey. It's evident to me the city of, city of Surrey needs a change. We need to change City Hall. Over the last four years, we have seen the current mayor, we've seen the council failing, the residents of Surrey, the division within council and the mayor has created a huge disproportionate potential that could, Surrey could benefit from. It's clear the Surrey's elected officials have been focused more on their political gains and their personal wins rather than working for the residents of Surrey. More than anything else, the city of Surrey needs a change for the future. As one of those individuals, I can honestly th say that I have, been, I have felt a neglect. Surrey has given me one of the, some of the best opportunities since I arrived here. I attended elementary school, as Ginny has stated, in Strawberry Hill. Princess Margaret was my high school, and across the street is where I started my post-secondary education before graduating from SFU. My family ran their small family business here. I currently run my own law firm in Surrey with my partner, my mentor. And my wife is currently running her own small business in this community. This place is for us. We need to be part of it. We need to have our say. We need to understand our community and the issues that our community is facing. Surrey is a place that I am proud to call home. And I want my children to call this place to be, to be their home. Unfortunately, the political landscape that the city hall currently has, fewer and fewer people have that they have lost the pride to be part of Surrey or to call Surrey their home. We need to change this today. <laughs> city hall needs to be more transparent and open to its residents. There needs to be a fairness across the board for all levels and all citizens of Surrey, not just a select few that the mayor has currently been protecting. City Hall needs to work together with all levels of government to ensure that people today, tomorrow, can afford to live here and call this city our home. It always has been a passion of mine to give back to my community where I grew up. For the last 20 years, I have volunteered in various organizations with the emphasis on youth and creating mentorship for programs which where the youth can actually benefit themselves. I volunteered with various organizations that ran summer youth camps. I myself volunteered with the Fraser Health Crisis Line because I understand the mental health issues that our city is currently facing and our youth is facing due to the lack of infrastructure that is available to them. Currently, my law firm is committed and is committed to giving back to the local community. 
and I'm extremely pr proud of that. We provide pro bono services for individuals that have limited financial means. And that's a crucial piece for it. living in a city that is expensive, that is, has become unaffordable, with a rapid growth, but with no potential moving forward to where they're going to reside and how they're going to be putting food on their table. Surrey has a choice to make in October. Do we continue to elect an inefficient council? Do we continue to elect a mayor who works for few and not for all? Do we continue to work, let a council jeopardize Surrey, Surrey's current future and its potential? Or do we deserve better? I believe we do. And I believe in the leadership of Ginny Sims and the Surrey team forward, we will achieve that. I thank you all for being here to providing your support. October 15th is going to be the day that we will make this change happen. I'm hoping on October 15th, the results will speak for them themselves and Surrey team will Surrey forward team will lead this Surrey into a brighter, brighter future and this sees its potential to the next level. As Ginny has stated, if we achieve the momentum and the ground that we need, this can become a tech hub and we can become the Silicon Valley of the North. I thank you guys for your support and for your attendance today. I'm happy to join the Surrey Forward team and Ginny Sims leadership to make the city a success. I am vertically challenged, so this is quite common. I always have to fight the mic to get it to come down. So um, we do have some media here today, so if anyone has any questions at this stage. So Jody and Phil, please come and join us. Just so you know, uh, Phil Aguirre is the uh, president or CEO of uh, Newton BIA. He is Mr. Newton, as far as I know, because I've known him since 2011. And uh, Jodie Tor, Dr. Jodie Tor, she is also a graduate from a school right here in Newton. She graduated from Sawasan, took her medical degree, and now has a clinic in Cloverdale. We are here at uh, a press conference with Jani Sims and his 7th council member da Alan Kardada. They are not to join the Yankee Hon Puri slate complete Hogaya. Ageki Terian Chalring and I welcome Jani once again. Thank you very much. Ajaminu Bot Kushi Hoya, Pi Paramjit Singh Malli, who is a lawyer in uh, Surrey. He is a lawyer who went to Strawberry Hill Elementary School. He went to Princess Margaret School. He's, uh, he has grown in the heart of Surrey and he has been successful. So he always acknowledges all the teachers he had, and I want to do that now too. And uh, he wants to give back to the community. He is a young man who has a very successful law practice. He has a family, two young kids, and he wants a Surrey that includes everybody. And that's why he is uh, joining our team, and we're very, very proud to have him. When the city of the city is voting on the council member, the mayor is voting on the council member, do you think that the team is voting on the council member? Do you think that the team is voting on the council member? Do you think that the team is voting on the council member? Everybody has their own work too. 100%. Every member has been voting on the council member. They have been voting on the council member. They have been voting on the council member. But the council member has been voting on the council member. But the council member has been voting on the council member. ओहो 100 परसेंट जोर लॉन्ग के काम थे ते नाले एजेडी टीम खड़ी या एक सिर्फ कॉर्सी ले नहीं खड़ी ए टीम खड़ी या सरी देवे जो सुधार ले के आऊँ नो सरी देवे जो जेड़ा करप्शन या ओनु रोक करनो सरी देवे जो जेड़ा लोक का नो पैग या उन्हें मानवे जो भी इतने थोड़े बंदियाँ दे काम हो रहे या � प्रिंसिपल्ड है कि या असुल्ला वाली है कि या ते नाले ए टीम है कि या बेसी लोकानु किदना जोड़ी है इस टीम दे विच चाइनीज रेप्रेजेंटेशन है गया फिलिपिनो है गया कोकेशन है गया ते अपने भी है कि या साउथ एशियन भी है कि या सो ए टीम दा स्ट्रेंथ है गया या ए सरी दी मेरा इमेज या सरी दा शीशा � any message to the community for today? 
ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਆ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਵੋ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਵੋ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਹੂੰਗੀ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੋਟ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਕੀਮਤੀ ਵੋਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਜਾਨਾਂ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਆ ਇਸ ਵੋਟ ਲਈ ਇਸ ਵੋਟ ਨੂੰ ਖਰਾਬ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਕਹੇ ਤੇ ਵੋਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਉਣੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਹੋਮਵਰਕ ਕਰੋ ਸਵਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛੋ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਅਸੂਦ ਹੀ ਆ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਣਗੇ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਕੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਕੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਬਲੀਅਤ ਆ ਇਸ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਕਰਕੇ ਨਾ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਇਓ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਪਿੰਡੂ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਭੂਆ ਦਾ ਲੜਕਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਦਾ ਜਵਾਈ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਿੰਡ ਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਇਹ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਸਰੀ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਸ ਇਨਸਾਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਵੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਰੀ ਦੇ ਭਵਿੱਖ ਲਈ ਸੋਚ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੋਚ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਸਰੀ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਸਾਡਾ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਆ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੁਧਾਰਨਾ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਟੀਚਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਵੀ ਰਹਿ ਹਟੀ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਸਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਲੜੇ ਵੀ ਆ ਹੱਕਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਜਿੱਤੇ ਵੀ ਆ ਸਮਝੌਤੇ ਵੀ ਕੀਤੇ ਆ ਐਮਪੀ ਬਣ ਕੇ ਉਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਸਮਝੌਤੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਲੜੀ ਵੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਬਦਲਿਆ ਵੀ ਆ ਸੇਮ ਜਦੋਂ ਐਮਐਲਏ ਵੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਸਰੀ ਲਈ ਸਦਾ ਹੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਉਠਾਈ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸਰੀ ਦੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਲਈ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਤੇ ਆਮ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਸਰੀ ਦੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਮਿਟਮੈਂਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਸਰੀ ਦੀ ਮਿਹਰ ਬਣ ਕੇ 100% ਇਮਾਨਦਾਰੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੇਰੈਂਸੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਆਮ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੰਮ ਸਰੀ ਦਾ ਆ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੇਰੈਂਸੀ ਵੀ ਹੋਊਗੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੈਨਸ ਵੀ ਹੋਊਗੀ ਵੀ ਹਰੇਕ ਨੂੰ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਮਿਲੂਗੀ ਪਰ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਮ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੀਆਂ ਲੋੜਾਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਆ ਅਫੋਰਡੇਬਿਲਟੀ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਅਮਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਦੂਸਰੀਆਂ ਸਰਕਾਰਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਉਹ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਉਹ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਗਾ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਗੁੱਡ ਲੱਕ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਜੀ ਸਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੇ ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ 15 ਅਕਤੂਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਨੇ ਅਜੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਵੋਟ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਜਿਤਾਉਣਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਇਸ ਪਾਰਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਨੀ ਸਿਮਸ ਦੀ ਟੀਮ ਸਰੀ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸੱਤਵੇਂ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਪਰਮਜੀਤ ਮੱਲੀ ਦਾ ਐਲਾਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੱਤ ਕੌਂਸਲ ਮੈਂਬਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਟੀਮ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਦਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਪੂਰੀ ਟੀਮ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਹੋਰ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਤਾਉਣਾ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਨਿੱਜੀ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਕੱਠੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਕੰਮਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਹੀ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਇਓ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਵੋਟ ਪਾਉਣਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਨਿਕਲੋ ਉਸ ਦਿਨ ਜਿਸ ਦਿਨ ਵੋਟਾਂ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਅਪਡੇਟ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਪਹੁੰਚਾਉਂਦੇ ਰਵਾਂਗੇ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਰਹ